Well, hello and welcome back. Today we're going to have two fragrances with a vanilla vibe to them. They're both aromatic and a bit frogerish. On your left, we have Armani, Stronger With You. It's an EDT and was released in 2017. Obviously, that's not the actual bottle. It's a, uh, a sample bottle that I got online. And then on the uh, right, we have Paco Rabanne's Invictus Victory, released in 2021. And then it's actually an EDP, quote, extreme. You can read that on the bottom of the bottle. So it's not just the EDP, it's the EDP, quote, extreme. So whatever that means. Okay, um, I wanted to try Strong With You for the longest time. I know it's getting a lot of press and uh, getting a lot of comments. And finally, I have a sample in. However, I'll explain why I probably got the wrong Stronger With You a little bit later. Anyway, um, the Stronger With You opens up with a cardamom, pink pepper, mint, and it's a great opening with that alcohol blast. As you all know, I like my alcohol blast. And then once it settles down on the skin, you get a slightly powdery vanilla, pink pepper, sage, lavender, and overall it's a warm scent. On your right, for the Paco Ravon Invictus Victory, I've had this for a while, and it opens up with the alcohol blast of bergamot, pink pepper, and vanilla. You get the vanilla right away compared to the Stronger With You. And then once it settles down, it settles down to a warm, slightly spicy, oriental, a Lebanon, which is another name for frankincense. And you get, obviously, the vanilla with a hint of tonka bean. I would say, of the two, I can get the vanilla more from the Victory. And on the Fragrantica notes, for the Strong With You, it mentions chestnut. And I've heard a lot about the chestnut, but it's probably for a flanker of Stronger With You. I don't get much chestnut out of the this uh, EDT version. I guess it's the original to all the flankers. And then on the Invictus Victory, the Fragrantica notes, it mentions, it mentions amber, but I don't get much amber. Now performance on the Strong With You, I would say is just okay. On my dry skin, at least. It's got okay projection and okay sillage. It settles down on the skin about 15 minutes in and lasts three to four hours. And the Victory, I would say it's a moderate performer, a little bit better than just okay. And uh, it's got moderate projection and sillage. It settles down on the skin 15 minutes in and will last about four to five hours on my dry skin. Now on the masculinity scale, the Armani, strong with you, I give it a six out of 10 because of its powderiness. And then on the Invictus Victory, I give it a seven. So slightly more masculine in scent. Now price wise for the strong with you, you're gonna pay a mid designer price, slightly lower if you can find it at a good sale either online or at a uh, retail store. It's been out long enough to be on sale. And then on the Invictus Victory, the last I checked, you're still gonna pay the mid-designer price for it. 
but maybe if you can catch it on a um, discounter site, you might get a discount on it. Okay, well, what are my impressions overall of Stronger With You? I would say for the price, I was expecting a little bit more. Um, at least on my sample, I don't get much of that chestnut. And the performance isn't as good as I was expecting. Now, the flanker, Armani Stronger With You Intensely, I read that that's where you get the real nice chestnut and you get much better performance. So I'm hoping to get a sample of that or at least uh, try it at a uh, fragrance counter. On the overall impression of the Invictus Victory, I like it slightly a little bit better because it's got a little bit more focused, sweet vanilla vibe to it, and the performance is a little bit better. So, what am I going to wear today? Actually, I'm going to wear the Stronger With You because I'm going to be out and about doing errands, and I'll test it out. I'll be going to uh, a Walmart, and I'll spray it on, and uh, we'll see what happens if I get any uh, compliments or not. I'm going to probably have to do a little bit of overspraying to get some attention out of it. However, overall, of the two vanilla scents I have here, I like the Paco Rabanne Invictus Victory. So, I hope that has helped, and please like, subscribe, and comment. If you have the Strong With You Intensely, let me know and write down how you feel about it. I'm pretty curious. Okay, we'll see you later.